it's snack time, and you must be quite hungry for secrets. So before you sit down, wash your hands and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications, unless you want to be kicked out from the Mushroom Kingdom by Bowser's giant hand. Here you have 25 secrets of new Super Mario Bros. U. At the start of the game, we face the harsh reality. Luigi is very clumsy. And the second time the title screen starts, you can see how the multiple ground pound jump is thwarted because Luigi is late. Oh, always causing trouble. Before New Super Mario Bros. U defined its name, it was known as New Super Mario Bros. Me, and Mario was going to be a co-protagonist alongside Nintendo's Me avatars. What you're seeing here is a demo from E3 2011, and interestingly, the Wii U's gamepad sticks were going to be flat, like those of the 3DS. In the end, the Miis were relegated to a secondary mode, Mario took center stage, and the game changed its name to New Super Mario Bros. U for Wii U. You. This is the first Mario Bros. game where five players can play, one of them creating platforms to help the others. In the games Iwata asks, it was revealed that the inclusion of the fifth player came in the very advanced stages of development, as the Wii U wasn't ready. They basically didn't know how to innovate in Mario Bros. And upon seeing the gamepad, they added this feature. On Nintendo Switch, this feature was simply silently cut and nothing happened here. If you're playing but leave the controller for a few seconds because your mother is scolding you, a new Nintendo video has come out, or the house is on fire and you have to save your cat, the character will turn and stare at the screen as if wondering what the heck you're doing to have left them standing there. <laughs> Pichette was included in the deluxe version of New Super Mario Bros. U, and as you know, she's actually Toadette with the Super Crown. If we do three consecutive jumps with Pichette, sometimes Toadette's squeaky voice will slip out along with a cough. <coughs> Sorry, but there's not much room for two princesses. If you're a pro player in Super Mario Maker 2, surely this won't surprise you. The PA corn allows you to fly a lot and makes levels easier. But what you might not know is that you can literally skip underground levels if you go above the mountain behind the pipes. If you wait in the battle stages against enemies that reward an item, Nabbit will appear from the top and take the treasure. This tiny thief may steal your power-ups, but not your hearts. Today on Mythbusters, what happens when Peach meets Peachette? Toadette's alter ego dressed as a princess. Well, upon seeing her from a distance, Peach will be surprised. After the battle and rescuing her, Toadette will return to her normal form, and Peach won't wonder why this mushroom has impersonated her identity throughout the adventure. Since he doesn't have his own platform games as the protagonist, New Super Luigi U made Luigi the absolute star in this DLC expansion, placing him in a lot of places in the scenarios. You can find up to 88 hidden Luigis in the weirdest ways, like drawn on vines or in the form of a statue. We have no idea of Nabbit's real identity, but we do know that he's a gamer and loves a Nintendo Switch, because in his house you'll find one of these consoles among all the things he's stolen. It actually serves to show you the credits of the deluxe version of the game, but surely he also uses it to play some games. Ah, and hadn't you noticed that the house is shaped like a mushroom, just like the toads? Could it have been stolen too? In New Super Luigi U, Mario won't be present, and the companions will be two toads and Nabbit, which we don't really understand why he's involved in all this. The fact is that the game's producers revealed that they thought about including a third Toad. And attention, because the reason for not including it was that it would be too confusing. Two yes, but three no? Nintendo is hard to understand. The deluxe version of the game removed the blue toad in favor of including Toadette. But don't worry, our lovely toad is safe. There's a secret option that allows you to bring him back on Nintendo Switch. If you're in the character selection and press the L or ZL button, the yellow toad will change to the blue toad. 
Now that is the easy mode of new Super Luigi U, as the enemies can't attack him and he can only die if he falls into a pit, lava, or poison. If you complete the game with this character, he won't be the chosen one to rescue Princess Peach. Instead, Luigi will appear to do the honors. But Nabbit will be behind watching everything that happens. Be careful because Nabbit will always be watching you. In New Super Mario Bros. U, the Super Acorn power-up gained prominence, and the popular penguin suit and propeller hat from Mario Bros. Wii were discarded. Even so, we can find them a bit hidden in the Superstar Road, luckily appearing in Toad's houses. Did you know that the Chicken Mario suit existed in New Super Mario Bros. Wii? Take a look at its 25 secrets up here. The Miis will appear with outfits related to characters from the Mushroom Kingdom. Player 1 will be dressed as Mario, the second as Luigi, the third as Wario, and the fourth, well, it's a suit similar to a secondary one that Luigi wears in Smash Bros, possibly being a reference to the fourth player in the Game Boy Advance ports of Mario Bros. <laughs> The appearance of Peachette as a result of the Super Crown was the trigger for a worldwide phenomenon known as Bowsette. This, of course, would be the result of Bowser getting this power-up and transforming into an evil princess. The most remarkable thing is that this fan idea was already in Nintendo's mind when creating Super Mario Odyssey, having sketches of what would happen if Peach were captured by Bowser. For the moment, though, the only one transforming here is Toadette. The biggest mystery of all Super Mario is exactly what this Super Crown is and why it transforms a Toad into a Peach clone. To know the origin of the Super Crown, we have to look at the end of the DLC of Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, where Toad and Toadette get the Super Crown as if it were an ancient treasure of the Mushroom Kingdom capable of turning a Toad into a princess. Does this mean that Peach is an imposter? That she's actually a Toad? And that we've been hugely deceived for decades? Well, it could be. Although the most shocking thing is that we have proof that Luigi also wants to put on the crown and be a princess, but Nintendo won't let him. Maybe this power-up that would transform Mario into a princess is the weirdest and most curious of all existing. Oh, and as an extra fact, at the end of their journey, Toadette and Captain Toad land in the Mushroom Kingdom, where all sorts of tragedies happen. Mario does not appear in New Super Luigi U, and it's one of the few games where Mario is not seen, but Luigi is. Even so, we will see his cap on the table at the beginning as a snowman in some stages, in addition to also appearing the M of his emblem on the blocks used to change the game style. Several years later, in the Nintendo Direct of 2018, gameplay of New Super Luigi U with Mario as a playable character was shown, something that never actually happened in the final version of New Super Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Poor Mario! In the Wii U version of New Super Luigi U, you can play with Nabbit if you hold down the ZL button on the gamepad. However, in the final stage of the Superstar Road, as Nabbit cannot turn into a squirrel, he was changed for a Mii. So here, you have the only phase of the game where a Mii is a playable character. The strangest thing of all is that in the deluxe version, the Mii was removed as a playable character in this stage, and the option to choose Nabbit was given. But if you try to complete it with Nabbit, it is impossible. The reason for this decision is unknown, but clearly it's a mistake. Or so we thought, because an internet user proved that it can be completed if you're accompanied by a pink Yoshi. But be careful because it is very challenging. Nintendo didn't really know what to do with New Super Luigi U, because initially it wasn't going to be more difficult levels, but boost rush levels, like the original game. Basically, the screen would advance faster and faster as you collect coins, and once again, to annoy Luigi, they preferred to make it difficult and create a tough New Super Mario Bros. mode. Among the Luigis you can find scattered around, there is a very special one. In Vanishing Ghost House, at the end of the level, you can find the official artwork of Luigi's Mansion 2 with King Boo and Luigi, a nice reference to one of Luigi's most personal adventures. 
In the ghost house of World 5 of New Super Luigi U, you can see a painting that may look familiar to you. It's the image that appeared in Super Mario 64 DS and that served to rescue Luigi in that game. In another level, you can find on a canvas some art of Luigi from Mario Party 7. Man, what a memory you must have to find these references. Depending on whether you finish a level with a different final digit in the time counter, special events will occur. If it ends in 11, 22, or 23, you will receive a mushroom. In 44, a fire flower. In 55, an ice flower. In 66, a mini mushroom. 77 will give a super acorn. And in 88 and 99, a superstar. If you wonder what happens if it ends in 00, well, that's it. Nothing. You won't get anything. <laughs> One of the challenges of the game hides a small nod to Yoshi's adventures. It is known as Spin Jump, Get Dizzy, being a reference to the screen Touch Fizzy, Get Dizzy from Yoshi's Island for Super Nintendo. New Super Mario Bros. U could be the great grandchild of Super Mario Bros. 3 because it has many things in common. Both games have the Koopalings as bosses in each world and Bum Bum as mid bosses. You can also find airship levels where the background music will be the same as the classic NES game. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel so you won't miss anything about Mario and Nintendo. And don't forget to watch the rest of our 25 Secrets videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.